Hi, I'm Erin Schrage, Kids Director here at Rooftop. Welcome to Kids Church. I'm so glad to see you here today, and we're so excited to share some more lessons with you about how much God loves you. And if you're new to us, we're just so glad to see you. Um, we are just going to have a great time uh, with our ki big kid worship teachers at Kids Church today. See you soon. Bye. Hi, welcome to Big Kids Worship. I'm Miss Liza. Lately, we've been staying home instead of going to school. We have been learning without being with our teacher. It's tough to learn without a teacher to teach you. When Jesus was on earth, one of the main things he did was to teach people about God. Today, we will learn about when Jesus taught people in his hometown about who he was. First, we have to talk about our big picture question. Do you remember it from last week? What makes people special? Think about it for a second. What makes people special? People are special because we are made in God's image as male and female to know him. Last week, we learned about when Jesus healed sick people. Today, uh, we see Jesus teaching people from his hometown, explaining that he was the Messiah. Let's watch. Jesus went to the town of Nazareth, where he had lived when he was a boy. Now, Jesus was grown. He traveled all around teaching people about God. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue in Nazareth. The synagogue was a special building where Jews met together to pray, worship, and learn about the scriptures. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have been treated badly, and to announce that the Lord's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it to the attendant and sat down. Everyone in the synagogue stared at Jesus. Jesus said, today, as you listen to me reading these words, they came true. The people said good things about Jesus and they were amazed at him. But some of the people in Nazareth had known Jesus from his youth. Isn't this Joseph's son? They asked. Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in his own town. Jesus told the people about times when God used prophets to help people who were not Jews. He reminded them of Elijah and Elisha. When there was a terrible famine in Israel and no rain fell there for three and a half years, plenty of widows in the country needed help. But the prophet Elijah did not help the widows in Israel. Instead, God sent Elijah to help a widow in another land. And when Elisha was a prophet, many people in Israel had leprosy. They wanted to be healed, but Elisha did not heal them. Instead, he healed a man named Naaman. Naaman was from Syria, a country that hated God's people. The people in the synagogue were angry. They forced Jesus out of town. They wanted to throw him off a cliff, but Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. When Jesus went to Nazareth, he told people that he was the Messiah, but they didn't believe him. They wanted to know why he wasn't healing people like he did in Capernaum. He reminded them that God doesn't always do what we expect him to do. Sometimes he does things for one person and not another, but God's plan is always good even when God doesn't solve all of our problems here on earth. The good news is that he solved our biggest problem by sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and give us eternal life. Thanks so much for joining us today. You can go to rooftop.org to print out your activity page for our lesson. You can also look at equipping parents during COVID-19 for page for more resources. Now I'm going to pray for us and then we'll sing our song, God with us. Jesus, thank you for having a perfect plan. Thank you for teaching us what it is, and thank you for helping us to follow you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Well, you've come to bring peace, to be love, to be
been nearer to us so you've come to bring life to be light to shine brighter in us so we met you will God with us our deliverer you are saved Say